Hi everyone, my name is Barbara Oldham and I'm the French horn player in Quintet of the Americas. Quintet of the Americas is a woodwind quintet and the instruments in this group are flute, oboe, clarinet, French horn, and bassoon. I'm really sorry we can't come to your school and play for you in person, but we've made some videos and we'll be able to show you all of our instruments and play for you with the wonderful help of the internet. The first two videos will show you the instruments in the woodwind family. In the first video, our flutist Carla will show you her flute and some related instruments. One of the very oldest wind instruments that's ever been found is a 35,000 year old flute. It's made out of the bone of a very large scavenger bird, a vulture. Now Carl is going to show you her regular flute and some more flutes. I'm so excited to play for you and show you some of the instruments that I love so much. Um, I play the flute. Who knows for sure where the first flute came from? Maybe it was an old dinosaur bone that somebody picked up and blew across, or maybe somebody grabbed a branch out of a tree and made a whistle out of it. I'm actually wearing I'm actually wearing one of the oldest kinds of flutes. This is an ocarina, which is a little clay flute with four little holes in it. And as you blow in it and change the fingers, it changes the pitch or how high or low the notes are. Ocarina, meaning a little goose. Another kind of flute that's been on the planet Earth for years and years and years, 7,000 years ago, we've seen paintings of these kinds of flutes on the cave walls in ancient Greece. This is a pan flute, and they have uh, paintings of them from 7,000 years ago. The pan flute has a lot of tubes all tied together, each a different length, and that's because the smaller the tube, the shorter the tube, the higher the sound. The longer the tube, the lower the sound. I play actually one of these pan flutes in the Broadway show The Lion King. It sounds like this. play most of the time, of course, is the C flute. It's made of metal. Many hundreds of years ago, all the flutes were made of wood. And they were just sort of like small little pieces with holes in it that you covered the fingers. And as time went on, they started making flutes out of silver so you could get a louder sound and they added way more keys, lots and lots of keys, so you can play much higher and much lower. The flute. I'm going to play a little piece for you now called the Sarabande. And the flute often gets to play the most beautiful melodies in the orchestra uh, and with piano and in all sorts of groups. This is a beautiful little piece called a Sarabande for the flute.
that I'm playing is made of metal and it has a head joint that fits into the flute. This is the part that makes all of the sound. It's made of metal and it has a hole that you blow across. All sound comes from vibration. Put your hand on your throat and say, ah. When you do that, you'll feel that vibration under your fingers. That's the ah, your vocal cords vibrating, moving back and forth very quickly. That's the way sound is made also. Something has to vibrate. On the flute, we have a head joint here, the top part of my flute, with a hole in it. And when I blow the air across that hole, some of the air goes across, some of it goes down in, and that's what starts the vibration. And then, of course, when you add it with the flute, changes it all around. My flute is made of metal, of made, made of silver, and over the years they used to have, re, you know, the first flutes were recorders, the wooden recorders, which still everyone plays, but then they added more and more keys, and then they made it out of silver so it could play much louder, and added way more keys so it could play higher and, and lower. I have another flute here, that I love. This is called an alto flute. Look, it's much bigger than my silver C flute. Like in a choir, the soprano is higher and the alto is a little bit lower. This is the alto flute, and I'm hoping you can see this on the video that it's a lot bigger than my regular flute. And because it's bigger, it's going to actually sound lower. It's a much lower sound, like this. Here's a little song for the alto flute. This is the alto flute. I have another flute I would love to show you. And look at this one. This is a piccolo flute. In Italian, piccolo means little. And the piccolo, flauto piccolo means little flute, which it is definitely. It's made of wood. And because it's so small, it's going to be the highest instrument in the whole orchestra. The only other instrument that can play as high as the piccolo are the violins. They can also play really high notes. So this is the piccolo, and I'm going to play a little piece for you, a little jig, a little dance on the piccolo. is the regular flute, which is part of the woodwind family, the clarinets, the flutes, bassoons, and oboes. And at one time they were all made of wood, that's why they were called wood wind, and got a sound on them by blowing wind. But in recent years, a few hundred years ago, they started making the flutes out of metal, but it is still a woodwind. And this is the alto flute, which is played a lot in movies and TV music and in orchestras. It's bigger than this, my regular flute. 
and the piccolo, which is the smallest one in the whole orchestra, the highest playing one, except for the violin. Thank you so much for listening. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you.